Well, here we are. We're uh, installing the end phase microinverters and uh, the cable. One of these cables it looks like a little upside down, but I think that's all right. And um, junction box and uh, doing every 40 inches because they're portrait. I have to make sure that's exactly correct. But um, have the uh, clips here uh, from from end phase for their cable, their cable clips, and um, anyway, we're making progress along here. I'm a little uh, afraid to cut that uh, big end phase cable. Uh, 19 panels we're doing, of course, and so uh, I have to cut it along here someplace. And uh, and put a uh, end piece on it. So anyway, got six uh, an array of six uh, back here. There's our six uh, panels that I'll be putting up. And uh, well, the sun just came out. Anyway, we're getting there. I got all my panels, all my racks up now. Just painting some of the uh, uh, PV mounts um, to match the roof. You can see the uh, my uh, cardboard uh, cutouts there to uh, shield the paint. But uh, making progress. Got the roof all done. The only sad part is my foolishness. Here's my turbine. Well, it's off at an angle. <sighs> Took that apart, tried to fix it. My roofing guys, I w wasn't watching carefully enough when they put it on at a 10 degree or whatever it is angle. Oh boy. Well, it's during the winter here. It's December and uh, harder to cover for it. Figured get it out of my sight for, for a while until I can rip that thing apart and, and get it straightened around and fixed. But uh, didn't want to get sidetracked off the uh, installation of the electrical here for the in-phase solar project. And uh, anyway, again, we're putting up 4,000 watts, 19 panels, 225 watts each. Um, and uh, we also did new roof, so um, have all the PV mounts really connected in there very, very well. Um, as you can see, they, these went real well. You can't even see them at all. Over there, we didn't do as good a job, but they're definitely in there and watertight. I've had a few rains here since I got these up and no leaks, so with the new roof. So I'm pretty happy, but uh, oh here, I had to use this as a spacer. I probably should have an extra one of these uh, uh, these L brackets and used it as a spacer because I got uh, too far over, too far down. Uh, didn't want to, you know, couldn't drill a hole one quarter inch over, so just used that as a spacer. I had a few extra left over, so. Um, So we're looking pretty good. My roof is a little bit bowed over the roof, and so I had to, but it got it pretty straight by because there is some leeway in the uh, in the L bracket here. With uh, you can see, um, these ones are way at the bottom of it. In the center, it's way in the top. So, well, it's Sunday, and I've been working on the roof few hours here getting this ready. I'm um, going to go and work on getting this six um, solar panels up and this array done it's a little bit easier than the uh, ones on the roof which are on both sides um, and that one's an eight and a five. So uh, I have to junction box those together so I get and then go around the house. Uh, this one I'm going to be putting a junction box right here and this is just a regular Home Depot junction box 
and I'm about to uh, drill a hole and uh, then use a uh, use one of these guys to mount the junction box in there. So let's see if we can get a better picture of that. I guess you got to undo it first. There we go. Okay, so here's this little key assembly, and then I'm gonna drill a hole here and then mount it on top so that uh, that it'll sit there. And uh, these little metal brackets, I got a big bag of them here, uh, are to hold this L, this end phase uh, cable in place. Well, we're making progress here, so a little unsure of exactly where to put the cable as compared to the end phase. Uh, this guy, so that it'll plug in. You can obviously do it that way. Or over the top. Uh, anyway, so so either way, whether it's over the top or under the bottom, just want to keep it out of the, you know, out from uh, Got a lot, big tree here. This is north of, of our situation, so uh, another tree here, uh, another tree over there, and I got a big palm tree here in front. This is I'm facing due south now. Um, now I'm facing east, easterly. So where I'm standing is where I'm putting six uh, of my. Uh, solar panels uh, that big palm tree occasionally gets in the way but I may trim it a little bit but that's about it but with the end phase of course even though one or two um, solar panels are in the shade the rest of them keep on generating electricity anyway well I'm excited to get this first six wired up and it's close to Christmas, so we have to stop and do some Christmas-related other stuff. Uh, at least that's what my wife asked me to do, so I better go do it. Uh, <laughs> and she's probably right. You know, it's easy to get focused on these things and and uh, lose sight of the big picture, of family, and everything else. So. Uh, but I'm a sort of engineering, do-it-yourself guy, so I enjoy this. So, um, it, it's a like not a work of art, but a a joy to uh, get something like a big project like this done. Anyway, signing off. So, making progress and uh, uh, write any questions in. Hopefully, all of this is. Uh, oh, uh, one big thing that's been troubling me a lot is the uh, the grounding. Um, and maybe I'll do a whole video on the grounding because uh, this is the part that uh, goes right in here. But also, I have a bunch of new grounding clips that that um, need to put on the uh, on each one of these panels. It, it goes underneath the panel. Um, I had bought and uh, or purchased web uh, clips that uh, tied them into the the tie the panels into the the uh, frame but uh, my uh, electrician uh, inspector didn't like it that way he wanted to see um, specific clips uh, attached to each panel and then the ground wire attached to each one of those so it makes it a little bit more challenging to put it on but that's uh, anyway whatever they need it's not a big deal so I went down to uh, Mayday Grounding in Buena Park, or excuse me, in Fullerton, and, or Buena Park, not sure, uh, Commonwealth, and um, got a bunch of little clips that are only a couple bucks a pop for each one of the uh, um, panels. And uh, I'll show you. I think I left those down, downstairs in the garage. Um, but we're... 
I'll be putting those on and uh, be looking to weave the um, grounding, number six ground wire, through here and then into the conduit with the rest of the uh, wires. So, all right, well, signing off.